And you're live again. There we go. <laughs> Just do it. Well, welcome back to uh, the How We Cruise second ever live stream, or uh, for those of you who've known us for a little while, the uh, the third, because the first was the uh, the epic failure from uh, the yeah. Harbor House uh, back in September. But uh, but thank you all for joining us. Looks like a couple people are already jumping in, so it's uh, great to see all you guys back again. So hey, Have Luggage Will Travel is here already. Thank you guys for uh, being uh, being here so early. Oh, Miranda's here too. I love Cruising Royal. Hi. So hey. we're gonna do Francis you know, McIntyre. Hey. So we'll start saying hello to everybody, and uh, it's been it's been quite the day. So um, for those of you who are following our other our other socials, our Instagram, you might have seen me uh, wearing this shirt earlier today, laying on the ground underneath my truck. So mm. we're we're a little less prepared today than we uh, than we had planned on being. We had a little bit of a flat tire situation Thank you, earlier today. Uh, oh. Hello, Francis. Oh, Julie does look fabulous. I, I'm I'm a little still put together <laughs> from the truck thing, but uh, hi, Tracy. But yeah, so we're you know Black been a, been a bit of a day here. Been a little busy messing around with all this stuff, trying to get our 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 little dining room studio set back up here and get all the kids stuff out of the way. So looks a little bit like uh, we kind of know what we're doing here. But but thank you everybody for joining us so far and. Uh, it's yeah. been uh we didn't go live last week uh brian Sunday was working night. yes yeah brian was at work last oh, week Kara's so. joined us lori's joined us hi guys How hey Kara. we got some got some traction on the facebook group there so it's uh so we're we're trying something new tonight we're streaming both on youtube and on facebook so you can join us in in both places so we're gonna see yeah. how that goes so um we know that the youtube works we had some some great conversation two weeks ago. fun Oh, there they are! Hey, did you guys everybody. get your bag? I hope they. I hope. I hope it got to you. <clears throat> so, we'll yeah, just, so we'll cool. Start popping up some comments. So everybody's there. joining us. So as everybody's joining joining us, um, this is our second live. Last week Brian was working. Uh, we have a lot of big stuff coming up. I mean, like a lot has changed in the last. I want to say two weeks, but really like the last month. A lot of stuff has been in the works. I know that some of you are turning in to find out when our group cruise dates are because we did announce the last live that we had two weeks ago that we were going to be doing a group cruise. So hang tight. We are definitely announcing those dates. Um, we're set. We're ready to go. We're booked. We're booked. We're booked. We're ready. And we're waiting for you to join us if you want to. So that is coming up. Um, we will announce that just in a little bit. And we might even have a little bonus announcement too. We might, we might, yeah. and um, in in true how we cruise fashion, we kind of um, joined from everywhere. So we got uh, Charlie joining us again from uh, from the RV this time. So yeah, hey, cruising How's in the RV. Beach? Oh, uh, Eddie and Laura are here. Thanks for joining us, guys. Uh, Pat, thanks for uh, jumping in there. Asking now, the the tire is sort of fixed. The the truck is movable at this point. Can I tell um, the tire story really quick? So sure. we wake up this morning. We're like, we have so much to do. We got to start talking about this. We're, well, we have been talking about it, but we have to figure out this group cruise and we have a lot, bunch of other stuff to get going. We have, we're behind on a, a bunch of stuff that we need to do. And we're like, okay, today is the day, you know, we're good. Brian worked last night and we had other stuff going on. So we're going to get everything done. Brian goes, we don't have enough time for breakfast, like whatever. He goes, I'm going to run down to the local deli and I'm going to bagel Smith for all you locals. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to grab some, the kids, some bagels and a breakfast sandwich and a cup of coffee. What do you want? Okay. He jumps in the car and I get a call three minutes later and it might have been less. <laughs> yeah. He hit the curb at the end of our street that I actually hit like a year ago and did the exact same thing. And he just like ripped up his tire. So it is completely undone. It is not patchable. It is not repairable. And so he's like, okay, whatever. He's like, forget breakfast, feed the kids. I'll be home in a little bit. I'm going to change the tire. I get a call back again in like another five minutes. There's no lug nut key. So his vehicle that is what you've had less than three less, months. I was going to say like less than half a year. So a few months doesn't have a lug nut key in it to switch the tire. So that was our morning. <laughs> It was fun. So, ergo, um, it's good to have local friends that uh, yeah. that are able to help us out there. So, um, kind of like what we love about living in small town New Jersey up here. So, um, it's cool. It's fun. And, uh, hey, Laura. 
Oh, Sarah's there. Aunt little... Pam. Hi, Aunt Pam. Hi, Aunt Pam. So, but now, you know what, now that we got a couple people in the chat, we do want to point out, um, we did, we have been learning from other YouTube friends Logan's here. Kingdom. So, oh, yeah, hello. Um, so we have been learning um, from our other YouTube friends here. So the one thing that we want to make sure, really important to us, really important to us, if you are a creator, uh, please put hashtag creator in the chat. Uh, we will do our best to make sure that we get everybody's, uh, a link to everybody's channel put in here. Uh, we're still moderating the chat ourselves. So uh, please uh, go over to all our other YouTube family here and check out their channels, subscribe to their channels. Um, they've been really helpful to us. I know. And um, guys, you're welcome. Please to drop a link on our Facebook page, on our YouTube channels or whatever. Please feel free to, to link yourselves. And we, we're uh, creator supporters. So definitely check out the other people out there. Yeah, I mean, it's been so it's been so great of all. <laughs> I'll let that have that one. I'll give you. I'll yeah. give you. I'll give you that one. So yeah, it was. It was, hey, it was a curve. Guess so. who? Guess who helped us out when he when he ripped up his tire? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, but um, but yeah, no, we do appreciate all the other uh, channels that have been uh, that have been helping us out. So, um, in in. I was gonna jump in real quick. I love I love cruising royal. Hi, how are you? Thanks for so much for joining us. And I hope the comedy show was really good last time. We love comedy, especially on the ships, but love comedy anywhere. Um, so it's just some tires. So when you have the lug nuts, if you want to change the tire to get off, it's got a special key. Not every car has it, just some of them, but you do have to have the special key that opens it up and it should be like like in your glove box. We will be uh, uh visiting the lessons. dealership uh, very early on tomorrow to make sure those slugs are removed um, so that yeah. doesn't happen again so anyway enough about cruising <laughs> on land let's talk about cruising on water All right. yeah what do you got, what do you I'm, got? I'm just taking care of getting all of them all yeah. of our good uh friends here getting all them up here so what are you, so um so tell us um uh, just as you join in the chat tell us where you're from uh tell us uh Hey, see the world with Chris. Hey, guys. Tell, us, awesome. where you're, tell yeah. us where you're from. Tell us if you have any cruises <clears throat> planned because we have one planned coming up that we're going to talk about in a little bit. Just a couple minutes. Yeah, yeah, we'll, give it, sure. we'll give it a couple minutes. Give everybody a chance. To um, get and, you know, any other questions, too. If everybody has any questions, just shout them out. I like how you're, you're linking everybody. I'm doing my best here. And I'm showing it because we learned. But if you don't show it in the chat, when That's people right. watch the replay, they don't get to see it. Yeah. So we're learning a little bit about uh, how this all works. We may be awesome. we may be slay rookies here, but uh, we might be investigating some moderators in the future. <laughs> Ashley, Texas, just booked my second cruise for oh next September last week. Oh my goodness, you're gonna have so much fun. Where are you going? What ship are you going to be on? What did you do your first cruise on? What's your second cruise going to be on? I don't know. I'm going to throw a question out there while we're too, while we're waiting. Um, does anybody have like a favorite line? You have a favorite line? You have a favorite ship? What do you guys like to cruise? Um, we are, what do you say? We're non non-discriminatory? Not, no, non we, we do not discriminate <laughs> against any cruise line. Um, if you have a ship, we are more than happy to... Uh, visit your your, yeah. your sailing we will be happy to uh to join huddle michigan yeah. have I'm luggage louisiana i've been there once you haven't right we will be there very soon hopefully we'll, we'll cross we'll our fingers there. we'd like well, to be there if, if you so we got this great little thing here in the back because some of you have watched our videos or seen our lives we keep yeah. our little countdown and the kids love doing it. They move our blocks yeah. every day, so that way we always know we always have a countdown till our next cruise. They're not so happy about this countdown, though. No, they are not. They're not on that countdown. Me and Brian are, but the kids are not. So, um, Katie is, I think, most disappointed. But I think mom and dad are most excited because they get to have the kids. All right. All right. So. I know you're. You're. Um, I'm doing. Listen, I'm moderating right now. You got to talk first. Well, I know, but you're going back through the chat, and you told me not to go through this one. All right, so I'm going to go through this one. So. <laughs> All right, so everyone's... Hello, we are in Michigan. Next cruise is on the Carnival Magic out of New York to Bermuda. So we have not done Bermuda. I really want to do Bermuda because we've done Bahamas, we've done everything else. 
sailing out in New York is just absolutely awesome. Very, very cool to do. But, and I love the Carnival Magic. We were just on the Carnival Magic in April. We had a fantastic time. It was uh, an Easter cruise. Um, yeah, we had, we, yeah, it was super fun. My parents and my sister were just on a couple weeks ago in July, the beginning of July. And they were on just after like the first initial big fight. And then that seemed to continue on the following week. To yeah, it's been kind of, it's like, so a, it's it's like Royal little, Rumble on the Carnival yeah, Magic. I'm waiting for them I don't to know get, what the hell's uh, going on. Waiting for them to get, uh, what's his, Michael, uh, what's his face, the guy that let's get ready we were to rumble guys. We talking Brandy last out. week, too, because they were on that that cruise, mm-hmm. that exact same cruise, too. And they said, yeah, it continued on a little bit. But um, but I do love the magic. I love the layout. I love um, the pool deck. And I love, you have guys and you have the blue iguana. And it's just such a cool, cool it's a good ship. I yeah. Like I like that one. And leaving out of New York or Bayonne is just, for us, I mean, it's amazing. So but. I'm, I'm going to interrupt you here because we've, we've got people sure. asking questions here. And I want to, you know, make sure that we address all the questions. And this chat is fantastic. I love that you guys are talking here. So oh, we'll just jump to here because one of the things I said is, uh, I think you were in Costa Maya the same day in December. We were on Harmony. Yes, we were on Harmony of the Seas. Um over winter break yes we so, left december 26th we left the day Costa after christmas is definitely one of our who, one of our favorite that? I'm, I'm uh, Ash, Ash, ashley, ashley? said that oh yeah i see it right here oh ashley yeah cool well, did, did you go to yeah oh, there you go um where did you go in cost in costa maya because we went to la chilinco very good i know right yeah. we've been practicing that we couldn't say it at all <laughs> um and we saw jackie and carla Mm-hmm. And had a fantastic time there. It's kind of next to the the lobster place, was it? Um, crazy lobster. The crazy lobster yeah. uh, in Mahua. We had a fantastic time. We really, really liked it. We can't wait to go back. We have different plans. So one of the times we go back, we definitely want to just stay in port. Oh yeah. Another That's time we go back, port. we want to rent a golf cart and go up to Mahua and do the whole strip. But we definitely will go back to La Chilinga Luense because Jackie is phenomenal. The food is out I, of this I world. I think they'll be upset if we don't come back. They were they were running after us. I'll so be down, upset. I can't wait to say hello. So if you guys are watching, road, if you see us at out at any time, please say hello. Please, you know, drop us a comment. And um, we really did love you guys and can't wait to go back. Road, road margaritas there. So um, I saw coming yeah. here. This is this is what I saw. Anna said she saw us on the Oasis of Seas in June. I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> we had about 20 crazy kids with us running around all over the ship. Um, that was a fantastic. Cruise. I'm sorry, we didn't get to say hello to you. I'm not sorry no, she said saw us, although we were a little crazy, <laughs> especially as I'm um, editing these videos. <laughs> it was uh, a lot of fun. Let's see, here we have Ashley said they did the Liberty Holiday Cruise last December, and the same will be three days on Freedom out of Miami. That's Freedom. I love those. Uh, uh the the freedom class ships those are those are great um yeah. just a little bit uh smaller than the oasis class ships but uh still but we do love the oasis class ships um just just one uh, great for families great for kids lots of space uh let's see sarah says she's got I the can't norwegian wait to getaway them, we have the norwegian breakaway. Hi, sarah. We have the Norwegian Breakaway coming up. That's the Vloggers Extravaganza at the end of January. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'll be heading out of uh, New Orleans. That's when we started talking about it a little bit ago. Um, oh, we were talking about Costa Maya. We're getting, I'm sorry, getting caught up with the chat here. They did the dolphin excursion in the port. A lot of people do that. Never seen a fight. Just kids acting. Loved Harmony. Yeah, we really liked Harmony in December. So I don't know. I am so torn. But I mean, I know. Between the Oasis class ships, we've been on Harmony and Oasis. We haven't been on Symphony or Wonder or. So here, okay. So I, um, I, I knew I was looking for but questions. They're different. So, uh, Black cats are cute. Wanted to know: Do we have a favorite Royal Caribbean ship? I just started to go there, so yeah, that's a good. That's a good segue. Good I'm also reading. Um, and Pam, um, may I do oh, Royal sorry. Caribbean oh. Copenhagen stock? We'll, we'll jump when you back. click on it, I can we'll see jump. it. It's okay. right there. Stock home. Yeah. Um, so, so we'll our favorite Royal right, Caribbean we'll ship. We'll it depends on what you're looking for. That's I don't true. like. It's just like you know, you don't have a favorite kid. Well, Dep- or, <laughs> depends on the day. Cruise nuts are here. Hi guys, let's get. <laughs> um, like 
gosh, like there's just so many things I like about each one of them, but. Well, just in the last in the last year, we've been lucky enough to be on 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 Liberty of the Seas. We've been lucky enough to be on the Harmony and the Oasis. Um, so it's it's. I appreciate those, that, Kyle. I, mean, I appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Um, but Liberty, we did that was the that was the test cruise when uh, when when cruising was just restarting. So that was very different. It was very cool. Um, we kind of called it the ghost ship. I mean, there was nobody there. I mean, if anybody got the opportunity to go on one of the simulated it sailings, it was it was kind of weird to like walk through that royal promenade and like nobody's there, just like just wide open, empty. It was. Uh, granted, we stay up late too when we're on cruises, but still, uh, that's. Uh, but you know, everything everything shut down. Like everything shut down at like nine o'clock at night maybe 10 o'clock like we, we went, went to the schooner bar at 10 o'clock at night or 9 30. it was not late and we were the only people there that was it you could walk down the royal promenade like it was like nobody but anyway love the layout of um the liberty and um those ships but Richie we, says he likes empress and grandeur are their favorite classic old school i think i prefer the cruising. harmony over the oasis do I do. Michael. I know. <laughs> but it's really, really hard. Like, you know, I don't, I don't you know. Oh. Yeah. Have you all done the chef's table on Carnival? No, we have not, not done the on chef's Carnival. table on Carnival. We just did the chef's table on Oasis of the Seas on our mm -hmm. last. That was our. Was that was so our, excited that for was it. That was our, that was our 10 year anniversary dinner that we got to do at the 12 year mark. Yeah. Because of COVID. Because of COVID. So, um, that was kind of fun. It but, was uh, super fun. I'm going to give a, a really, really quick like what, recap because we just posted that video yesterday. Um, and I'm, I'm going to do just a video on the chef's table, but like we included it in our day three video so you can see a snippet. But I'm going to I have a lot more content from the chef's table that I'm going to post in its own video. Um, it was a lot of fun. Loved it. It was. I was so excited for it. In hindsight. Nothing, nothing wrong with our experience. We had a great time. Um, there was only one other group at the table, a group of three and us. So the rest of the table, they had two seatings that night. There was nobody else with us. And it maybe it possibly seemed like just slightly a little off in hindsight, not in the moment. In the moment, I was so wrapped up and excited to do the chef's table. Um, and when I went back and I'm going to throw a shout out right, out right now to nautical nurse Nancy because she just mm -hmm. posted her experience at the chef's table on Oasis, but it was in January of 2020. Mm -hmm. So she just posted it like last in the last couple days. Um, and her experience seemed extremely different Well, I do from wanna... location and where they had the table and what they did. Same menu. It seemed different from what we had. So I'm very curious to try the chef's table again on different lines and different ships and perhaps even the oasis again to compare well laura laura you and i have something in common uh laura says she wants to do the chef's table but she really hates mushrooms mm -hmm. so i'm gonna make a lot of people cringe right now and let you in a little bit of the world of brian here but i eat off the kids menu um i don't eat seafood shellfish mm -hmm. anything that basically we used to live on in or near water which kind of makes cruising difficult for julie to Eat dinner with me. Oh, but you're so, that way at home too. Oh well, yes, but um, he literally so, lives anyway, on burgers, hot dogs, pizza, French fries, and chicken nuggets. Oh, we get chicken nuggets. Um, but anyway, um, so chef's table for me. Um, each course, the chef brought out. You know, they said at the beginning, are there any allergies or anything that you don't like? And you know, I, I said, no, I'm not really into seafood, and they accommodated me. They brought me a different salad, a different, uh, it was, it was, it was just as good and, and just yeah. as great. So again, I'll post the so, more detailed video, but in the video I just posted, you can see that Brian's plates are different from mine a lot because he just doesn't. So it looks like Chris yeah. had the exact same experience. Yeah, so same. yeah. So hold on. Uh, the chef's table on Mardi Gras, the carnival kitchen instead of the specialty dining room. Not impressed with that. Oh, okay. That's interesting to hear, but, uh, let's see. Uh, and then they just the kids menu all week and the drink. So we're but we're cruising together soon. So um <laughs> and they've actually, you know what, it 
the half life school travel has been waiting a very long time. We've been we've been kind of teasing them with this group through this thing. So should we should we throw it out now? You're, you're dying to yes. Yeah, well, I'm not yeah. dying to, but yeah, we did okay. tell people we were announcing it. We have a lot of people in the chat here. We've been making them wait almost twenty minutes. Okay. So I mean, I mean, there's always so much time, and then they're all going to log you off. You guys want to know? You so. want to know what our group is? Let's go. Let's do it. All right. So, mom, don't tell. <laughs> all right. So. We've been playing with the, uh, so here, we're going to do this here, this one here. So we loved it so much that uh, if you love it twice, you got to you gotta do it twice, right? So um, we just had a huge group of people come with us on the Oasis of the Seas back in June. Um, and uh, everybody had a great time. So we're going to do it again. So we've got it all set up. We have, uh, it's going to, we're going to leave out of Bayonne again. Um head down to Port Canaveral. Um, Nassau. Yeah. And Coco Cay again. So it was the same itinerary that we just did this past year. Um, so it's it's uh, right. So it's after the kids get out of school, June 23rd. Our so kids. Our anyway, kids get out of school. I know. School, different so. parts in the country are a little bit different. So let's go. June. So we, so June twenty third, twenty twenty three, first uh, first yep. official actual. We are booked. We are ready. We're ready to uh, to see if you uh, want to join us. We can't wait. Laura, suspenseful. How was that? Was that, was that suspenseful <laughs> enough? Was that really, oh, they just um, did Oasis. That's not really a big announcement. Hey, five hungry that. travelers. Oh, there they are. <laughs> so, oh, yeah, yeah. So June twenty third, we are going to do um, Oasis of the Seas out of Bayonne, mm -hmm. uh, New Jersey. Oasis class ship. It's a seven day sailing. It's going to go down to um, the Bahamas. Oh. And it's going to hit Coco Cay. And uh, hmm, interesting. Mm. Oh, you, oh, oh, did, <laughs> what did are we some hook things you, Josh you recommend? And Amanda, did we hook you? What are some things? Oh, Ashley, great question. What are some things you recommend to do in Nassau? So, I am working on this video right now. We were just in Nassau. We've been in Nassau in the past. Um, there's a lot of beaches that you can go to. So, you, I mean, of course you can do something like an excursion to Atlantis. You can do Margaritaville. You can do a private beach club or a pool or a resort. Um, you can just walk to, is it Duncan? Beach. You can walk the uh, that Beach. is within 10 minutes of walking distance. The straw market is fantastic. There's a lot to do in Nassau. You can do Cabbage Beach. You can do Cable Beach. You can do Love. Is it Love Beach? Um, we decided the last time we, we just went, we did Cabbage Beach. We were super excited. I, it was the right decision. We had such a fun time. We hopped in a cab. We all jumped in a van. We got there. But what we didn't know and none of us had experienced before and we experienced it, and some other people in our group who went to other parks and other beaches had the same experience. Um, sea lice. Let me tell you about sea lice, or in other words, baby jellyfish. I've been doing a lot of Googling. I've been doing a lot of research. Um, they, the beach was infested. We got the brunt of experiencing what it's like to be in a swarm of sea lice or baby jellyfish. It's, it's not, not pleasant. It's not fun. Stay tuned for that video. Stay tuned for as much information as we can bring to you. It is in the warmer seasons of the early summer that this happens. Uh, we did not have that experience at Lake Coco Cay. Our friends who went to the dolphin excursion on Blue Lagoon, is that what it is? Blue um, they did not have the same experience, but us on Cable Beach definitely did. We had a great time. We had awesome people around us. We had some great uh, vendors that we kind of, uh, you know, met up with and took care of us there. But let me tell you, we have went, we went to the lengths that we never thought we would need to go to with kids on that beach with sea lice. For the benefit of... Or not the benefit, the, uh, the <laughs> but yeah, so for, for those. Brian did something he never thought he would do. No. I can't even, I the, the teasers, I can't even bring them, but trust me, <laughs> trust me, stay tuned for that video. Oh, that's going to be, uh, you know, you feel bad. Yes. I mean, so for those of you who, you know, 
the sea lice yeah. really only bother you if they brush just like any other jellyfish if it brushes up against your skin it's really not going to bother you it's just they sting when they kind of get into places that no, no, are no, no, a little no 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 they can find i can't wait listen no wait till you see the video it the water was infested it was bad like the, after we got home like within the next week I think the Bahamas actually issued some sort they of like did. statement. They issued a warning. Letting yes. people know that this was going on. I mean, it was really bad. We had stings all over our body that actually came back after we got home. Yes. That was, that was weird. I it did not expect really, that. I mean, they at first they stung, but after we got home, like two weeks later, like my whole body broke out in this like itchy rash. And it wasn't just me. It was everyone that it affected on our group cruise and we were on the ship with like 30 people sherry's here hi sherry hey sherry <laughs> um i just want to go back because i saw sarah said yes cabbage beach free yes. yes um cabbage beach is free cabbage beach is free cable beach is free there is a we cost paid for sea lice <laughs> <laughs> only dirt, only for like a snippet of like when they're when they're there has anybody experienced sea lice before do you, like please let us know in the comments i would really like to know uh, because this was our first experience and everyone we were traveling with, it was their first experience too. Aunt Pam got a pee on the sting. <laughs> oh, wait for the video, Aunt Pam. Just wait for the she's video. Got, she's, 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 wait for the she video. knows where we're going with it, yeah. <laughs> um, I live in South Texas by the Gulf, so I Raise know your hand all if about you can say those. you peed on your kids. <sighs> Listen, I'm <laughs> trying to figure out how to very delicately and appropriately edit this video, so. Uh, Put them in a box. Apparently, sea lace doesn't affect beekeepers. There it is. Well, listen. There you go. You know what? Uh, so, hey, you made the right decision. Put them in a box. Just gonna say. Um. Yes, there is a port day in Orlando. So what we learned. So actually, we just posted. Uh, Julie, well, Julie just posted. Our uh, Julie spent a lot of time working on that video. So please, if you see our our video from our port slash sea day in Port Canaveral. Uh, we call it a port slash sea day because um, when the Oasis class ships or any of the ships that come down from New York pull into Port Canaveral, um, a lot of people don't get off the ship. So the, the pool deck is very similar to a sea day. It's pretty crowded, a lot of partying going on. And um, Julie worked really hard on that video. She did a really great job with it. And we had some technical computer difficulties. I'll so. just tell them. I worked on it for like 10 days. And then my stupid mistake, I saved over it lost the entire thing exactly as it was finished so sorry guys so so check out that video um it's it's in our playlist for the oasis and the seas um give it a big thumbs up and a like for julie there she worked really hard on it but and um i will take it as a win i'm okay with it i'm gonna say i'm just gonna go out there and say it. we got our first real negative comment today we our did. first hater somebody doesn't like us and can you a, believe that <laughs> somebody actually didn't like us listen <laughs> Listen, it, it comes to the territory, but like at first I was like, <gasps> and then I was like, no, it's okay. I'm okay with it. They still well, watched our video. They cared enough to, to leave a negative comment. So, Z hate Show is, is here. Hi, Z Show. How are you? Oh, we, we get, uh, like I said, guys, if, uh, if you are a creator, we know they are. So just put that hashtag creator in the chat there so we know to uh, get everybody's channels up there. 500 travelers. Yeah, it was really bad. I'll have to fill you in a little bit more. Well, actually, was... I want to jump over because they're here real quick. Can you just, uh, just... Five Hungry Travel Travelers has a great channel. So yeah. can you just talk a little bit? Just we're putting, We put a link to their channel in sure. the chat. Yeah, if definitely. you have any so, dietary restrictions. Dietary but... restrictions um, anywhere. <laughs> I mean, on cruising, of, of course, but like any place that you go, even in just in your general life, um, they have an awesome channel that is sharing their experiences on uh, just um, gluten-free, dairy-free, and all of the dietary restrictions that they face when they are traveling or even just, you know, out and about in um, in, in around their surroundings. So she does a great job. Laura and Nick, they do a great job with their kids uh, explaining how and what they do to uh, – to, to travel with those types of um, dietary restrictions. So uh, check them out if you can. Awesome people, awesome channel. Yeah, I had their... Yeah, 500 travelers. Just you just pass it. There's no, one. that's their comment. No. Put it. Yeah. I can put it up again. Here we go. Let's put it up, yeah. put it up again. So... Looking at the June 23rd cruise, Port Day in Orlando. 
That's that right yeah. there. Put that. I'm looking at Laura the model. I don't buy the screen. Right there. That's the wrong one. We just sub five. Okay, so we got five hungry travelers up there. Yeah. All right, good. They're 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 channels in the chat chat. So let's see here. Port Day. Who said Port Day? So yes. oh yes, Port Day. Or, yeah, yeah, so Port Day in Orlando. So yeah, so like I said, a lot of people don't get off the ship there. Um, if you want to get off the ship, Coco Cay is there. There's the uh, I'm not Coco Cay. I'm sorry, Coco like, Beach. Coco Beach. Not... Everything's Coco. Um, Coco Beach is there. Um, the uh, Kennedy Space Center is there. They do a day tour there. I've heard that's a good excursion if you want to do that. Yes, some do, we we know we have family and friends who have very much uh, enjoyed that yeah. uh, excursion. Uh, we have family and friends who like live in Coco Beach too. So yes. so for us to go to Coco Beach is wonderful and awesome and we can get off and visit family and friends and sometimes we're just like you know what we'd rather experience the ship for what it is mm -hmm. so um when it's a u.s based port for some people it's worth getting off and for other people it's worth staying on it's totally a personal decision so but uh the other thing you know and a lot of people question this and uh, i know there's a lot of people with a lot of experience with uh uh this in the chat so you know feel free to drop your opinion we'd love to hear it um, a lot of people have asked us, hey, can I get over to either Universal or the Disney parks while we're on a port day in Port Canaveral? And the one thing that we saw was that we don't pull into port in Port Canaveral until about one o'clock in the afternoon. So by the time you get off the ship, your time is very limited. So, I mean, if that's your thing, well, you're there you from like one to nine. Yes, you're there late. So you are there late. And we talked about this a little bit last time, and yes. I'm going to drop my two cents again. I did this last time, and we might slightly vary on our own opinion on this, but I think, so. you know, we were asked, is it worth going to a Disney theme park or a Universal theme park? Is it worth going to SeaWorld? You know, that, that's for you to decide, but know that it is going to take you a solid hour, if not more, to get there. Mm -hmm. By the time you get off the ship and you get to travel there, because you're a good, solid what 40 miles at least it's it's a, it, it's a ride yeah so you're gonna have to get there and then to experience that park and you know things are evolving things are changing for the amount of time that you can be in the park if you have a season or a, a yearly pass if you have an annual pass if you can just drop in and that's what you want to do by all means but then again if you have an annual pass you probably you could be there. doing so many other things <laughs> you could just be doing so many other things so when it comes to us, at least, with how we cruise and how we cruise with our kids and how we cruise, you know, every dollar and dime we spend and we earn and we want to use on vacation is valuable to us. So if we want to do, and we do, we have done Disney, we love Disney, you grew up with Disney, I grew up with Disney, we love Disney. I feel like that's an experience in its own and it kind of takes away from the experience if you are going to just stop in while you're on a cruise so enjoy your cruise enjoy cocoa beach enjoy, enjoy travelers enjoy made it all the way over to epcot when they were doing the anthem and had four hours there so that just kind of gives you sarah suggested an airboat ride or maybe gatorland um dave and brandy are here drop their uh drop their link there they're uh, they're local to us they're our neighbors so um Maybe uh, so, Dave and Brandy, you missed the announcement of the date. We got it scrolling across the bottom of the screen there. It's a local, it's a, it's a home game for you guys, June 23rd on the Oasis of the Seas. We're talking about the Oasis of the Seas now. So let's get, uh, you know, so the other ports, we talked a little bit about Nassau. We yep. talked a little bit about Port Canaveral. Nassau's um, a great port, yeah. So, so Nassau. Port Canaveral. Yep. Yeah, Nassau. So, um, so let's talk a little bit about the third port on that. You want to talk about Coco Cay for a little bit? All right. Julie We're, loves to talk about Coco Cay. So. I love Coco Cay. Yeah. What a fantastic. I'm sorry we say so fantastic so much. We we know we catch it. We know we say it, but what a fantastic port. Coco Cay. <laughs> Coco Cay is a great place. You know, the last time we were, the first time we went, we did the water park with the kids and they absolutely loved it. Um, the one thing that we always talk about is, you know, we do, you know, most of our channel is about, you know, just kind of by the nature of the fact that we have kids, it's about cruising with kids. Yeah. So um, our kids are right now uh, 11, 8, and 7, and um, two of them are not exactly tall yet because they're 8 and 7. So we did find out that a lot of the water slides, especially the ones that they, you know, the fun ones, are. Well, hold on uh, a second, though. That you have to pay extra for on the island. So Coco yes. Cay itself. So let's just talk about Coco Cay. Coco Cay is exclusive to Royal Caribbean. If you go on a Royal Caribbean cruise and it stops at Coco Cay or Labadee, 
Those are their two exclusive ports that are owned by or owned or leased or whatever by Royal Caribbean. And only Royal Caribbean ships will be in um, those ports at, at any given time. Uh, when you get off, if you have all your food is included because it's just like it's just like you're still on the ship, but you're on land. So all your food is included. Um, if you have a drink package, a soda package or whatever else, that is also included. And then everything else there is included, but there's some extra amenities. So like you can go up and do the hot air balloon uh, if you want to do. You can do zip lining. You can pay extra for that. You can pay extra for the water park. Uh, we have done both Coco Cay, both paying for the water park for the kids and not paying for the water park for the kids. So aside from There's whether or not, that's do. a whole other conversation, whether or not the water park is worth it. Right. But Coco Cay itself is a fantastic island. We had such a great time, especially traveling with a group. We got off, we all kind of gathered at the at one spot in the pool that was by, it was down by Chill Beach, right? Because we were like the Chill Beach was, was it Chill Beach? Yeah, Chill Island. Yep. Yeah, over. They, over by the cabanas with the water size or whatever. We didn't have a cabana, we didn't have any of that. But we were over by the pool and we could cross right over to the beach. So kind of our group was kind of between and that's where they had that sports recreation area for the kids where they had like life size pool that was played with soccer ball or like like you know, the game pool. Yes. Um and we were playing chess with Brian and mm -hmm. they had the hammocks. It was a we we loved the spot. I caught <laughs> myself. A great spot. Uh, we love the spot. Love the islands. Uh the, nothing beats um the Coco Loco, which is the island drink. It's so good. I've tried to recreate it myself. If anybody's got a good recipe for a Coco Loco, <laughs> drop it in the comments there. Julie will try to I have a few of them, but when I perfect it, I will share it. I promise. <laughs> oh. uh, so we have a question. Uh, Black Cats, are, is, is food included at other ports? Uh, well, as long as you stay on the ship, it is. But uh, yeah. at Coco Cay, there is um, multiple places where you can eat. Coco Cay has um the they have a buffet that's included uh they have snack shacks they have the snack shacks which are included uh they have the uh was a, it's escaping me they have captain jacks which is not included captain jacks is not included and then you can pay for the private experience what's it called the the, the, the beach, beach club. club the beach club the beach club which we have friends that have done uh they love the experience they did say that it was worth it for the food and they're here and, tonight so drop yeah. your opinion in the comments there. yeah if you have anything if you've been to the beach club at uh coco Cay, please share your experience but we've heard that it's really great especially if you can get a good deal like around black mm -hmm. friday you can buy you can buy your passes um other times like the prices drop a little bit so if you can get a great deal or you're looking for that kind of exclusive experience where you don't have to worry about the crowds um, that might be in other sections, then it's definitely worth it for you. Ashley says the zip lines look so fun. We haven't tried the zip line there. We still have to try that. We have not so, done that. But, um, but that is a good point, though, that Julie did bring up, is that Royal Caribbean is a little different with their their excursions than, than Carnival. So we've noticed, like, the drink package with um, – Carnival, they just announced that the price was going to be going up a little bit. But Royal Caribbean's has a very high price, but then it regularly goes on sale. So you have to watch for it to go on sale in your cruise planner. Which and is, then if you buy it at a high price and you want, and it comes up as a lower price, you can return it yeah. and then well, buy it. Let me elaborate on that real yes, quick. So I just want to pause right here. What Brian just said, if you book a cruise and the price goes down and you haven't paid your final payment, you can still get that cheaper price. So... Let's give you that hint. If you book something on the cruise, such as an excursion, a drink package, a soda package, a refreshment package, um, a, a spa treatment, something that you book through the, before, cruise but through the cruise planner before you go, and before you go, you notice that that price drops, you can call Royal Caribbean and they will give you the lower price. So. If you see the price drop on something like, let's say, a refreshment package, and you know that you're going to want that refreshment package, or you know you're going to want that drink package, and it's the best price that you've seen in a while, go ahead and book it. And don't feel don't feel worried because if that lower price comes up, you will get you the can, lower price. But you have to go back in and that said, return it. You will have it. to repurchase it, and they'll refund you the initial or the, the original one. 
So there may be some lag time. You may have to put it on a credit card. You may have, you know, just be expecting that it's not an instantaneous, oh, okay, we're just going to refund you the money. No, you have to repurchase it and they refund you the first one. It works every time. It's no problem. They are used to it. They expect it. It's okay to do. But yeah, so. So watch, watch those prices. Be on top of your your. Uh, so vacation. Kyle shared that the, in the beach club, even the kids said that it was the best meal all week. Nice pool, very cool snorkeling, uh, with sandbar and deep waters. Actually, Kyle, you got you had some great pictures from there, and we'd love for you to share them in our in our Facebook group so everybody can kind of see all the stuff you found there. You yeah, found Kyle, a lot of, you were like we chasing some, a shark, and you were like, or he was like, uh, was it a know, sand what's, shark? What's or? The, 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 oh, tell the us the guy. Who's the guy that I'm thinking of? The then never mind. The, guy, the alligator guy, uh, not crocodile. Help me out here, guys. Everybody knows what I'm talking about. <laughs> I have no idea what he's talking about. Uh, we're still sitting here trying to figure out how to book. Wait. Right. We're trying, sitting here trying to figure out how to book your group cruise. We think we may need to enter a 12 step program. Um, well, we can help you with that. So, um, oh, we would love it if you could make it. Was that, was that a hint, so much Eddie? fun. Um, so, what we do here is Figure out here. No, that one, that one, no. So here, um, Laura, for anybody, Brian, know, you were on the other night, right? I think we need to have more team together, right? Yeah, there we go. That's right. That's the one. So you just email us there at howwecruise dot uh, at gmail dot com. Uh, we can get you some information because. Um, well, should we just dig into the other announcement then, or are we gonna hold off yeah, on that not, for a little bit? You so, might as well. Yeah. Um, so we so kind of. This, this, we want to again thank everybody for for their support with the with the channel. We are we are closing in our on our thousand subscribers, and we are, are really, you know, loving every second of this. And um, we're going all in. So you know, please share the channel. Um, if you're not subscribed, subscribe to the channel. Share the channel with other people that you think like cruising. Um, but we took the next step, and we are actually the coordinators and agents for. The group cruise. We, yes, we created our yes. own agency. We we've affiliated with uh, with uh, uh, Grand Lux Destinations, who we met on the Liberty of the Seas back in September. Um, so right. we're we're you know new business venture for us here. So um, you know so you know throw us a little support if you uh, if you're interested in that group cruise. Send us an email. We'll get you some quotes uh, on uh, how much that'll cost you. We did. We have a group set up, so we have some group pricing. Um, but we can pull others. So that's the other piece of what we wanted to kind of talk about tonight is the Oasis class ships and the different kind of room configurations that are um, available. So we have done uh, a five person room. We have, again, we have three kids. So we did the last time we did Oasis, we did all five of us in one balcony room with one bathroom. Um, we were able to send the kids next door to grandma and granddad's room if they had to, uh, spend some time in there. Um, but, um, you know, but that was one option for us that kind of, that kind of made the most sense for us this time we have, uh, we're going to put, uh, we're going to do two separate rooms. Um, when we did, uh, harmony, we did, we did two adjoining rooms, two connecting rooms. So listening, I was watching that, that uh, live. That was live the other night, right? When they were talking about Eddie glistening. Is Eddie glistening again? <laughs> is Eddie going to be Sorry. ringing those shiny biceps? <laughs> yeah, good times. I'm going to have to start lifting a little bit before I go. So. Uh, well, no, listen, you can go meet Eddie in the gym. But Laura, me and you are going to go have a martini. Is that okay? Um, Mimosas, martini, whatever. Eddie, if you get to the gym and I'm not there, just get started without me. I promise I'll be there in a little bit. <laughs> Um, well, thank you, five hundred travelers. Thank, thank you, you. So, thank you. Um, yeah. So that's kind of our new uh, our new thing here. So, uh, but anyway, so the if you've been on an Oasis class ship, let us know what, what kind of what kind of room configurations do you guys do? How are you How are you oh, guys yeah. traveling? Are you traveling with twos, fours? Doing two rooms, one room, uh, adjoining rooms, adjoining balconies. Um, there's so many different options, which is one of the things that we like about the Oasis class ship. We also like that it's in our home port of New York or Bayonne rather. So uh, that's yeah. another uh, huge advantage for us because uh, traveling with three kids means a total of five airfares uh, because uh, driving down to uh, Port Canaveral did not work out as well for us last time. So if you saw any of our Instagram or other uh, 
videos, we did have a little uh, incident on the way back where we got rear-ended in Georgia. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Chris says they had a joining balcony cabin on the horizon. We could hear all of their conversations. Not sure if they heard us. I'm sure they did. Um, <laughs> we always hear everybody next to us, but I got to tell you, like, even though you can hear them, I'm not listening to them. Like, you know. We did have all, one. I don't know. We, could, we can just kind of cruise right on over to, like, cruise etiquette right there, like, too. Like, I know what Julie wants to talk about. I don't know, but I don't, I really don't know where you're going to go with that. The lady but I'll next say, door. Oh, that's another one. <laughs> um, but, like, the last cruise, was it, was it this past one that we were on? And I'm sitting out there, and it's like, it was like midnight, and I heard these people talking in the outside, but they were not talking quiet. So they're outside at like midnight, and they're rah, 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 just talking to each other. I'm sure that they had had a couple cocktails, and they were just enjoying their night, and it was fine. It didn't really bother me. No, but I'm sitting there, and you guys were all in bed. I think I was just sitting out there just trying to enjoy like a nice couple minutes before I laid down and just watch the waves in the night in the evening. And I'm listening to these go, ah! and I'm like, if I'm outside and it's definitely time that people, I'm not talking eight o'clock at night. I'm talking midnight. I'm talking four or five in the morning because I like to get up super early. If you're out on your balcony, it would be polite if you could just it down to like a lower kind of tone low roar. talking to your neighbor but anyway whatever i'm not one to to tell anybody how to whatever but but as we did a neighbor, meet some people we did meet some people that are happy to tell other people and uh again if you've traveled with kids especially on that first day if they're getting off an airplane or a long ride in the car um they can be tired they can be cranky they can be um, well, yeah, no, yeah, so we'll get them, we'll yeah. get there. Um, but just to tell this quick story, our first night on, uh, good night, Aunt Pam. Oh, good night, Aunt Pam. Uh, the, our first night on Harmony of the Seas, uh, we had had a long travel day. Uh, we flew down, uh, to Port Canaveral, boarded Harmony, uh, and it's the kids' first time on a cruise ship. So they were obviously interested in everything. Uh, if you watch that vlog, it's, it's, uh, the, just the joy you, you're on their go faces. You're going to go this whole story? Because I'm going to make it, oh, I'll make, right, make it a lot shorter. Really long story short. First night on the Harmony, kids first cruise, they're fried. We've done everything we could under the under the sun that day. You know, you got to get home or got to get home. Got to get back to the cabin, put them to bed. We get back to put them down. Um, and actually, I went back with Katie a little bit before you went back with the boys. We all meet there. It's not even 10 o'clock at night yet. It's right around then. And if you watch the video, you can kind of see I'm waiting with Katie. The boys come in and they all start to melt. And as parents, what do you do? You have to, you know, parent. You have to say, okay, guys, I know you're tired. It's time to get down. Like, let's go. And you get them settled. Well, that doesn't happen in like two seconds. It also didn't take 20 minutes. It took less than five minutes. That said, the kids are upset and we're trying to wrangle them before 10 p.m. on a cruise ship. And... As we're doing this, we hear a knock on the door and our neighbor is upset with us, who also has kids, but her older kids who are still out amongst the ship. So it's not like we were keeping up her three-year-old. No. Anyway, long story short, she wasn't happy with us. We were just doing the best that we could. So Ashley says she originally. I, you know, I know you can't be with us tonight, Frugal Cruisers. Uh, but Frugal <laughs> Cruisers are out there doing their thing. Um, but we've kind of had some discussions back and forth too uh, about kids and and how to, you know, and how and what's appropriate. Um, they they they've been very supportive. I really love your take on this. We'll have to talk more about it yeah. uh, if you get a chance to watch us back, but. But Ashley said she booked an Ocean View balcony and just upgraded to a junior suite. I think that's a fantastic. Awesome. Idea. Especially if the price is not that much different. That's great. But mm -hmm. we had a question here, and we have a lot of people in here with a lot of experience. So I'm going to pop this question up here because I want everybody's opinion on this one. How much do you normally tip your waiters? So this great is question. a this is a um, uh, yeah, hold on. Let's just shut back the door real quick because just because I got to show that here's Karen. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, she was. Uh, but you do your best. We all do our best. You've got to so do how best. much do you normally tip your waiters? So uh, we love the main dining room. So we typically go, especially with the kids, uh, we take the early the early dinner seating. Uh, it's just a lot easier to get to the shows with them. 
um, it's it's a lot. Uh, it's just it works for us. So we typically have the same uh, waiter for the entire week, and we use the main dining room pretty much every night. Um, so what we'll do is uh, now a lot of the cruise lines are there. You I prefer pre to use the main dining room every night, unless you have a, like a specialty restaurant that you want. We don't do especially dining with kids. So, but I mean, like maybe we would do a Zoomy one night, or maybe we would do like especially um, what's the the casino um, on whatever on Carnival. But um, yeah, so we like to do the main dining room because I like the same waiter to get to know us, know our kids, know what we like, know especially the kids. So Chris says that it's a tricky subject, which we agree. Uh, you prepay the tips and give extra for excellent service. So that's kind of what we do. Like I was about to say. A lot of the lines now give you the opportunity to prepay your gratuities, uh, which most people do. Um, you can remove them if you want, but uh, most people do leave those on. But we do always like to, you know, reward extra service. We had we had a, a great waiter on Harmony of the Seas back in December. Um, we're actually Facebook friends with him now, and we talk to him all the time. He actually sent us a message earlier this morning. I think you saw it. I did. Um, I, I wishing us wishing us luck on our lives. So. Um, yeah. He's probably too busy right now to join us, but if you are here, hi Zip. Hi Zip. Um, if you we need... really do talk about you. Listen, guys, <laughs> I said this the last time. I'll say it again. The the crew that you meet, that you really connect with, they stick with you. You remember them. They become part of your family even when you're home. So yeah, Zip. And, Zip, you are always with us. And we did Gary, have. Some, you're always with us. We did have some great connection with some crew on the Oasis of the Seas this past June. And uh, we've been communicating with him via Facebook. And it, if, if from understanding his messages correctly, it sounds like he'll also be joining us for the group cruise next June, we think. So fingers like, crossed. Like he may still be on that ship. Well, it'll be his yeah, next yeah, yeah. contract. I hope that his, yeah. it, well, he's, we hope that that's where his next contract is. Yes, so. correct. So we may we're see. We're hoping we see you again. So for anybody who sailed with us last June, hopefully we're going to see he Ferry may not again. Be hoping, I mean, he went, may want to see us, but he may not want to wait on us. Well, and again, this is another good thing to point out. We got off the cruise, and one of the first things we did is you get that you get that survey, and we filled out the survey, and we you know call people out by name in that survey that do That's that do really great service point. for you because uh, he Ferry exp expressed to us that he was you know up for a promotion, so we kind of made sure that we you know said some good well, comments. Well, you know? well, was hoping for right, but right. no, I think that the key is is. Anyone that you encounter on the ship who does excellent service, which I find most go above and beyond on a ship for you, um, really recognize them. Recognize them by name because they, they will not ask you. They cannot no, they, ask you. No, they don't. Uh, but by doing so, it really does. I mean, I think that that's I think every cruise we've been on. There's been, nobody knows if you're doing a good job unless somebody says that you're doing a good job, right? Everybody's I mean, very quick to complain, but nobody's quick right. to say good stuff. And, so and recognize we'll, your people. Um, tips are super important. So, but let's just get back to like, how much do you tip? Oh, so how much? So do let's you talk tip? about the, the the number. Do you guys want to hear numbers? I mean, you can go. The numbers are just so hard to give because everybody's a little bit different. Yeah. I think it's whatever you're comfortable with. Because if you've already paid your gratuity, right? So you've already prepaid. It's what are you comfortable with? And I know everybody's like, yeah, but I want a number. I want a number. I don't know. I cruise that. Like, Thank you for joining. Honestly, us. are you are you in an interior? Are you in a, a higher um, category cabin? Are you in a suite? Are you whatever? That may play a role. Um, but at the same time, if you're just in the dining room and you, and you want to know what to tip your waiters, we usually do it with us. I'm not. We usually say, well, there's five of us, right? <clears throat> so for five of us, and we ate there for seven nights, and we'll take a number per night times five times seven, and that will give us a comfortable number. Um, and, you know, it's not, it doesn't have to be that much extra. So we're not talking $10 per person per night times seven. That's not what we're talking. You've already paid your gratuities. But if you say, or you say, okay, we're a family of five. So for that family of five, we want to pay an extra $5, $10, $20, whatever it is a night. And then times that times seven, or we only ate there three nights. So there was five of us that ate there three nights. We want to give them an extra $15, an extra $30, an extra $60, whatever it is that you're comfortable with. I promise you will be appreciated because they're just working. I mean, that's their job. They're doing their best. They are getting paid. 
They do have gratuities coming to them. And then they do work hard to try to work. I mean, they work hard because it's their job and they're good at it. But they also appreciate those extra gratuities. So whatever you're comfortable getting. Good night, Miranda. Thank you for joining us. <laughs> But yeah, Julie's right. Any, any, you know, any, any little extra they appreciate it. Um, you know, if you want to give five extra dollars for your entire cruise just for go showing up at the main dining room seven nights, that's awesome. You do that, and if you can do different, you do that. Now we also will find, you know, if there's if there's, uh, you know, you know, we've heard people that do you know, a, a dollar per drink at the bars, if you're talking about the bars, or if you have a, a server that you, you know, are kind of dealing with, if you're going to the same bar. My most opinion of the week. this has changed. I'm not going to share it now because it continues to change, but I will share it one day. I'm going to do a video on it. But okay. my, my opinion on this changes. I, we do always add tips to that too. Mm -hmm. But my opinion changes with, based on whether you do it every time, once in a while, per day at the end for the people who, you know, we work with the most. I don't know. If yeah. you have a thought, feel free to drop a comment. And like, you know, servers, bartenders, or, or staff that you don't see each time. I don't know. So anyway, so, you know, we, we, we've been talking a lot about the, uh, uh, let's see. I always mention that my name in the survey and drop five December day. Yeah, Laura, I like oh, to, on, sorry, yeah. Laura, no. was, I tip the bartender early and often. So the rest of the crews, I only have to make eye contact with them or wink, wink to get my drinks. Oh, right. You're going to like cruising with us. Laura. <laughs> 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 um, but yeah, no, I mean, we, it's, you know, they work so hard and they're away from their families exactly. and, you know, so anything that we can do to just kind of say thank you for, you know, making our family vacations that much more enjoyable. Um, pretty much, uh, you know, every play, every cruise we've been on, you know, the, they get to know the kids and they don't, you know, they'll bring them their sodas or their Shirley Temples or their, you know, virgin drinks, whatever. Um, That's a good point. Yeah. yeah. See the little Chris. Same, uh, so. same thing. It's on Carnival, on, on Royal, on Norwegian, same thing. The gratuity is already added. So when you order a drink, whether you're paying for that drink or you have drink package, either way, your gratuity is already added on to that. So anything that you add would be above and beyond. And some people don't know that. I have seen right. people not know that at all and tip a full tip on top of that or like put up. Yeah, so I did like the, uh, the option when we, when we booked the Carnival Magic. Um, we were able to write as soon as we booked it, we were able to prepay the gratuity that that standard gratuity right up front. Um, Royal, you have to you have to get a hold of them and do it to do it beforehand. Otherwise, they will charge you that fourteen fifty per day per person for the standard gratuities. Not a, well, we found out too. There's other ways that you can do it up front. Yes, we well, have, yeah, yeah. have to reach out. To yeah, yeah. I, I did like. Uh, let's see. Dave and Brandy, we always tip extra for great bar service, especially they bring the drinks to us while we are lounging around. Yes, yes. When you find that bartender who just knows what you're drinking and knows what you want, and they're walk, they, again, they're they're working, they're doing their job, and they are awesome. And gosh, like, when you love what you do and you do it well, it really shows. Um, and when they do it with a smile, and they're just watching you, and they're ready, and they come up to you, and they're like, "Are you ready for another one?" And yeah. There, it, it, I'm happy to um, oh, yeah. give them the, the tip that's well earned and deserved. Absolutely, absolutely. So, so you know, so we we so we did make the announcement. We do have the group cruise coming up next June 23rd, 2023, uh, out of Bayonne uh, on the Oasis mm -hmm. of the Seas, down to Port Canaveral, Nassau, and Coco Cay. Um, we are handling the bookings, so we have our. Uh, we have our email address there. Just send us your your information, and we'll and we'll get in touch with you as far as uh, figuring out how to get you into the best room for you. Um, it looks like it's going to be a lot of fun. We had thirty five people go with us last June, and we're hoping that uh, it's going to be even bigger than that uh, this year because um, we have more people coming with us. We because, already have interest. Yeah, oh yeah, so. no, we're, we're already we, we, we already a couple have people our, today. We already have a couple people. Um, but like I said, you know, we, we are kind of we're new at this here, so we are we did just like we did we did just open the agency, so uh, you know we're we're working on it, but uh, we have some great help and some great guidance, and especially a lot of uh, a lot of you in here, we know you all are agents, and uh, you know you've given us some great yes, advice. Yes, got the and we dates. You want to come? So, come on, come along um, with us. Yeah. we'd love to have you. 
let us know if you're coming along with us. We would love to. Uh... Good night, Destination Fun. Thank you for joining us. Um, but yeah, so if you can if you can make it next June 23rd, uh, we hope you can join us, uh, especially if you're close to the New York area. Um, it's an easy port to get to. We've gone out of Bayonne now. Um, actually, that was our first time going out of Bayonne. We've been down there a couple times, but it was our first time uh, going out of there. Just um, you know, yeah. If you're yeah, if you're coming have, in from out of the area and you want to come in and you want to you want to come join us. That would be um, the only video of ours I recommend not following is the directions to the Bayonne port. <laughs> yeah. um, we posted uh, it up there as the what not to do as to how to get to Bayonne. Um, I feel like we have a lot more what not to do than what, what to do. Um, anyway, well, no, is fun. if you're it's, coming in from out of the area the and box. when you want advice or you want tips or you need some, you need to know it, um, extra stuff, you know, definitely hit us up, let us know. Um, what we can do, what can, how we can help you and advise you and and make that but yeah. awesome. So, but yeah, we appreciate everybody joining us. If there's any, uh, if there's any, <laughs> we can host one there family go. house. So, yeah, so if anybody's coming in from out of the area, hit up Charlie. Uh, he will make sure to get you accommodations in the tri-state area. Comfortable, <laughs> comfortable. Uh, you can even cuddle with some fur babies while you're there. So, yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, but so if, uh, if you're interested in the group cruise, please reach out to us by by email um, and we'll uh, we'll get you all set up with that. Um, it's going to be a good time. Looking forward to it. What do you guys want to do? I mean, anybody not been on Oasis that wants to go, uh, we talked about the ports. We're going to hit up Nassau, uh, Coco Cay, Port Canaveral. Um, what do we want to do on this one? What are we going to do on June, in, in June? So we'll make sure that everybody's good and happy and taken care of but like i don't know are we gonna stay on in port canaveral you want to get off I don't know. well you we know really we'll haven't see, talked about we'll it see we haven't really talked about it no we'll put but, you on um, the spot yeah because i'm gonna um, we're gonna talk about it right here in front of you guys for the first time well i tell you what i'm not sure I, about, I, not sure about canaveral nasa is the big one nasa is tough i mean coco k wow dude i mean like you know either do the water park or don't but like we will have a blast because that is just such a fun court you gotta get off the ship so much fun promise you we will have a blast uh but nassau is the big question mark so nassau i mean I... you've got the beach you can walk to but again we travel with three kids and you know they say it's a 10 well, to 15 minute well let me finish they, they say it's a little 10 to 15 minute walk uh but 10 to 15 minute walk plus three kids yeah but is... that's not why we didn't do it i, I know didn't, it's not. i'm I, i'm gonna be completely and totally candid i didn't want to do junk and ale because it's under construction. I mean, there's just like heavy equipment and cranes and the view is not pretty. And let's face it. I mean, we're going on vacation in the Caribbean. We love the pretty views and the beaches and the whatever. Like, Mar I don't want to be staring. Margaritaville, Dave and Brandy recommend Margaritaville, which Dave is on Brandy. our list. That's I'm so happy list. you said that because that's number one on my list. That's my priority. That's where I want, that's what I want to do, I think. And that's, that's where I want to go. I think everything that I've watched from other vloggers and the research that I've done, is Margaritaville. Uh, Atlantis is another option, but you're gonna pay a nice, pretty price tag for that. Mm -hmm. And I feel like I wanna do Atlantis, I totally do. But if I'm gonna, well, I have not gone to Atlantis yet. And when I do, I think I wanna experience it for Atlantis. So again, I'm gonna go back to that, to conversation we had about, is it worth going to like Disney when you're at, like, um, you know, Coco Beach? I, I think I'd rather do Atlantis as Atlantis. I'd rather do Disney as Disney. Um, but I think when we're at Nassau, I'm two votes totally for, cool two with, votes for Margarita with Margaritaville. Bell. Yeah. Might have, might have to do Margarita. I'm so happy to hear that, guys. Thanks. I was hoping somebody was going to suggest swimming with dolphins because that's kind of what I want to do. I want to do that, too. I, Julie so, is such well, an animal lover. So, um, you know, we always take her to see monkeys and sloths and Roatan. And, you know, we put her in any situation we I can like to be animals. around animals. I just don't need to no, you touch don't like them. Animals. I like animals. I don't need to touch them. <laughs> uh, we have another question. We'll hit the question here. How long does the mustering take? Uh, actually, that's one of... So if we can say there's good things that came out of COVID, that's we'll say, say muster drill. Um, so now, you know... Yeah, the, silver the, lining to everything. Uh, all the cruise lines are very dependent upon the apps on the phone. Um, you have the app. And now, again, I know a lot of people... Look, don't like that you know hey i'm going on vacation i want to disconnect i don't want to have to carry my phone everywhere uh 
but being able to do those muster station drills on your phone and you can then still just disconnect your phone your, from yep. the real world and just stay on the ship. The muster thing does not take long at all. You pre you pre board, you do everything on your phone before you get on the ship. You watch the videos, you get on the ship, and I'm gonna speak for other lines too. So we were in April, we were on Carnival. And we got on and we did everything. We, and we went directly to our muster station. We sat there with a group and they went over everything. Carnival was a little bit different from Royal because we've done Royal twice since then. And Royal was the same thing. We did everything ahead of time. And then we went to our muster station. And as soon as we got there, they treated us like on an ongoing rolling basis. So if I had to say there was a difference of less than five minutes between the two, Carnival, you know, Carnival, we got on, we went to a spot, we sat down, they gave us a, a, a two minute spiel that complemented what we did on the phone. Royal, exact same thing. We went to our muster station, they gave us a two minute spiel that complemented what we did on our phone. And then you just go on your way. They do check off that you did it. If you do not do it, it will hold the ship up. You still, it is still part of the nautical world laws that have to be followed before that ship sails from port. Everybody has to have had their muster drill completed. So please don't think you can skip it. Please don't think that you can get muster, by without it. Drill. It is very easy. Um, does not take a lot of time. And we advise doing it as soon as you can, as soon as you get on ship. Super easy. Uh, that's very, very Super easy. easy. Uh, Mom wants to know if anybody has swam with the pigs. Anybody here swam with the pigs? We have not done that one. We have not. I know Katie really wants to swim with pigs, though. Uh, Josh and Amanda said they did Atlantis for Phil's birthday. Oh, cool. that, that was that's fun. Did you guys do just the? Uh, did you do like the whole water park, or did you do just the uh, the aquarium, or the whole the whole yeah, there's the so much. whole thing, the whole experience? And and I don't I don't know, but has anybody out there? If you've done Atlantis too, like we've heard, there's different ways to do Atlantis. So like you can book like rooms, or you get your tickets. But yeah, like whatever, yeah, there's, there's, there's a hotel across the street. Or, there's different ways to book your Atlantis where it might save you save you a dollar or two. Water park. Nice. <laughs> That's fun. Nice. Don't they have like a slide that goes down and it like goes under the the aquarium where like the sharks and stuff it's are? Very cool. It's very very cool. Oh, I have so. I have friends that go to Atlantis like every year just to go to Atlantis and they have a great time every year. So you were knock out the mustard drill in the first thirty minutes on board. So easy now. And That's great. and what we found was uh, very convenient on on the Oasis of the Seas when we just went is that Playmakers was open right next to where our muster station was, so we were able to get a drink on our way but into. If you the remember muster back in the day, and a drink do you guys on remember the way like, out of the muster station? Who, who's been cruising, cruising for a while? Where like back in the day, especially before COVID, but back in the day, like. You had to go to your cabin. I mean, you had to get your life jacket. You had to wear sweaty, stinky, gross life jacket. But you couldn't have a drink. You couldn't have anything to eat. You had to all stand there like like, like sardines and like whatever. And um, like now, like I was watching our video that we just posted on Oasis. And the kids have hot dogs in their hands. And we had drinks in our hands. And they were still... The mustard stations have changed. We had to we had to wear the life jackets for the mustard drill on our Pride of America. I, I don't really think that that changed with COVID. Yeah. No, I think well, no, you, you that. used to be able to carry it and not have to put it on. I think right before like the COVID, like you could just bring it, but you still had to go get it because they had to account that everybody had a life jacket. Now I would wager like there's people that don't even know what a life jacket is, which is probably not the best thing about the the muster station but um yeah no i still i can i can recall the smell right here and right now just thinking about putting it on mm -hmm. it was a skeevy thing for me it's fun. 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 Yeah. So, but yeah so that's so that's where we're at we are we are doing the group cruise uh the oasis of seas june 23rd yeah. uh please email us if you're interested um we did drop links to everybody here who's a creator, so please scroll through that chat, subscribe to everyone that's in the channel, like the video, um, and please, like I said, we are we are knocking on the door of our thousand subscribers here. So um, our one year anniversary of the channel is coming up very, very, very soon, and that is like our goal. We want to be at that one thousand subscriber mark before we hit that one year mark. So please, if uh, whether you like us or whether you don't, just if, uh, if you share know the channel. What like started the video. our channel?
just go back, go back through our videos, go back and watch. I'll, I'll, I'll say that. <laughs> I it. just go back and watch some of like our first like two or three videos. Um, it bad. is insane and crazy to think what right. we have done in the past year and where we were a year ago and what we were thinking about and what we're thinking about now and this journey that this has brought us on. Uh, we were hoping to get on the Oasis of the Seas test cruise and we went down to Bayonne and we were with the kids and we just picked up the camera and we're like, hey, let's vlog this. And then for whatever reason, we're like, hey, let's put it on YouTube. Uh, so, yeah, thanks. Well, for I mean, there is more to that story. I mean, is that a story worth telling? Does people care about our story? Is that? Well, well, maybe like, we have to save here. that for another live right, we'll stream. Save, I don't we'll, know. We'll, we'll, if you want to know that story, let us know. Drop yeah. a link, drop, drop a comment, and Blogger, maybe we'll share bloggers it. Bloggers by accident, you know. Maybe we'll share <laughs> it. But we are loving every bit of it. We're having so much fun, and We've we love so you guys are joining people. us. We love, you know, I mean, around, our, around here where we live, there are a bunch of people who we're friends with that love cruising. Uh, but, you know, we do notice that, you know, we're talking to our friends. We kind of drone on about it. And, you know, to have a, a community here that will sit here for, for over an hour and just talk about cruising <laughs> with, with, you know, people yeah. that we hope to meet one day, some people that we've gotten to cruise with before, people that we'll definitely cruise with uh, in the future. Um, it's it's fun. We love it. And I'll know, say this, though. It, and it kind of ties into, like, our first real negative kind of mean comment today. Blocker's bad. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, is... Like, you know, all right, you guys just got to come back. Just get in the car. You could be here in an hour. <laughs> we're, we're, we're us. I mean, we're genuine. This is, you know, what you see is what you get. And we might not always get it right. We might not. We might screw it up once in a while. We hope we don't. And we, you know, but. Uh, but we, but you know what? I tell you, even with all this, the one thing that we stayed true to is we, you know, initially we told the kids, you know, no YouTube, but what we did find is that we were trying to get the kids prepped to learn how to cruise is that. You know, cruising with kids can be ugly sometimes, and we'd like to try to show as much of that as possible because there's people that say to us that, uh, you know, oh, I couldn't bring my kids on a cruise. That sounds like it's a lot of work. So, you know, when you cruise with kids, you're not really going on vacation. You're just parenting somewhere else, <laughs> you know. Um, but, um, it's, uh, but it's fun, and the kids love it, and um, – uh, Family thinks I'm crazy for going. Yeah, I, I guess that's a thing. We, we've I been, guess that's we, we just an us lately. thing. They're that's like, like the, how many that's lately? like the family thing here. And uh, you know, hey, you know, we're just we're going with it. Yeah, absolutely. Life is short. Do what you can. Do it the way you can, and uh, figure it out along the way. Uh, it's a learning process. We have. Uh, thank you guys. Mm -hmm. um, well, yeah, we're doing our best, just like everybody else. But you know what? To get, to get, um, to get these videos out there and kind of show everybody what it's like to cruise with kids, and um, then still get thirty-five of our friends to come with us last June. Um, that was awesome. That was, you know, we we figured we and must be even this one putting something like, out there that people like, want to see. So we, you know, we're open to uh, other dates at other times too, guys. So. Stay tuned. It may, it's not, definitely not going to be. So if you guys are organizing a, a group or something like that, and you guys are going on a cruise, let us know. Let us know. Um, we'd, you love, know we'd love, we'd to, love join to join you. you. Um, or share. Hot, uh, or, uh, have luggage. We'll travel. I'm sorry. We can't join you guys probably in May. Uh, I, you know, we, we kind of knew this June thing was coming up, no. and we kind of knew when it was kind of happening. We, we really want to go with you guys. It sounds awesome. And it's um, right before the kids get out of school. It's so yeah. hard. Exams no, and sports. Really, really like and, to. We've even talked um, about different ways that we could make it happen. Yeah, but for anybody who can't make our group cruise in June, uh, reach out to Josh and Amanda. They're organizing a group up in May. Um, it's going out of, I believe, Miami. Uh, Josh and Amanda, correct me if I'm wrong. Um, and that's going to be a, a cool carnival cruise. So yeah. a, lot of great, a lot of great creators on that. I know uh, uh, Eddie and Laura are going on that one, too. So. Yeah, um, definitely hit if, them up if you can make yeah, that cruise. If you, if you can't make ours, go with them or go with both. If you, yeah, you know, hey. I mean, somebody <laughs> compare. Hey, that would be an awesome life, right? Mm -hmm. So whoever can go with them, whoever can come with us, and then we'll do one big jam session out. Yeah, that'd be awesome. <laughs> Oh, hey, Blaine. Hey, thanks for joining. Oh, thanks hey. for the, Oh, you got the bag. That's great. Yay, um, yeah, we it. didn't do any giveaways tonight. We didn't no, we any, didn't. I know we need to. We'll have to. I like doing the giveaways. I like doing the merch. 
I tell you what, first person that said that uh, emails us that they're going to join us on the group cruise, we'll send you a badge. There you yeah. go. <laughs> the first you email that we get that says they're okay. joining us, yep. we'll get you all booked up and you get a bag. Yeah. Sure. Um, we got, we got, we have one. To, oh, we do have one. To, we come in all sorts of crazy different. Oh, this one matches my shirt. It's good. You guys, there, we're, there we we're, go. we're the reverse today. We're, we're celebrating our 80s. These were, these were our special. These were our 80s nights, yeah. These were our, our special uh, How We Crew shirts that we made just before the uh, the Carnival Magic for the uh, 80s rock and roll party. So we made sure we were. I don't have a lot of 80s clothes left. Oh, I probably have some 80s clothes left, but that's a different topic. But yeah, uh, but yeah, so first person to email us and get and we can get you booked on our group cruise. We'll send you we'll send you a bag. Maybe that one. Um, but yeah, so I, I mean, I think it's been a fun night and. Unless anybody's got any questions for us about the group cruise or cruising in general. I know we had a few new cruisers that joined us tonight in here, which is just awesome. Yeah. <laughs> yes. There was a little whole mini action going on. <laughs> but Carnival Magic. We still have to finish. Julie still has to finish that vlog. I keep saying we have to finish that vlog, but Julie does all the all the editing for that. So I'm not going to take any credit there. I'll, uh, I'll take care of... I got held I'll up take, a little bit with losing that one video, which was a lot to lose. I'll take credit for being a terrible moderator in this chat. That's what I'll take credit for. So, But uh, but thanks, everybody, for joining us. Uh, please hit us up by email. Let us know if you can make it on the uh, on the group cruise, howwecruise at gmail.com. Uh, first group cruise, June 23rd, 2023, out of Bayonne, on the Oasis of the Seas, down to Port Canaveral, mm -hmm. Nassau, and Coco Cay. Um, in the meantime, you guys can join us. yeah, hope and you guys can join us. We would love to love to have you. If we can't, please, you know, continue to watch, follow, subscribe, interact with us on Facebook, on Instagram, and, um, and we please, will do the same creators, supporters, all of us out there. Keep going guys. You're doing great. Eddie's, Eddie and Lauren are trying to make it. Yeah. We would love that. Go. Absolutely. And, and please, the last thing we ask you is like the video. Share the channel with your friends and family. Subscribe for multiple accounts. Do what you got to do. We want to get to that uh, that thousand subscribe before we hit that one year mark. So so please and and thank you to everybody that's uh, here in the chat. You guys have been uh, totally awesome. So um, thank you guys. Thanks for joining us. I will see you on the seas. See you on the seas. <laughs>